and uh, here we have some Kavian boards. And uh, who are you? Yeah, I'm Murti from KVM. And I'm uh, Nitin, uh, Nitin from KVM. And uh, what, what KVM board are you looking at here? So this is Ocean TX 83XX board with the 24 cores. So 24? Yeah, ARM 64 cores. ARM 64 is, is a, it's quite popular and, uh, right now. It's already deployed the last in the networking or the edge server kind of space, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, it, it's not a server class mode. It, this is uh, that is different. That is called Thunder. This is Ocean TX, which is kind of embedded platform. Like a base station. No, th this is for cellular networks. Cellular, cellular networks. networks. Cellular yeah, networks. Cellular. So yeah. this base is. Stations. So what we have here are 5G emulators. Yeah. We're generating traffic for 5G cellular networks, and they are going through a single fat. This is the, this is the backhaul. That represents the backhaul of the 5G network. So backhaul on the 5. Because right here, right here, you're talking about uh, there's a little Nokia logo there, and uh, uh, talking about 5G emulators. It's a Nokia hardware where where they are generating the 5G emulators. Which one is a Nokia hardware? So it's a Nokia base station it's hardware. No, it's just an emulator. It's it's an emulator. Yeah, in, in in real world they'll generate. They'll have the base station. They'll generate the traffic. One. Yes. But it's already in the market or is not yet? No, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. It's a proof of concept. So, and then we have the Octeon TX hardware here. This is from KVM. Yeah. And that's handling the IPsec tunnel. Yeah. So, it's yeah. a single SA capable of doing 18 gigs of traffic. So, what are you doing? What are you showing here? So, this is doing ESP tunneling, so encryption and authentication of the traffic at line rate. It's a, it's a 10 gig fat line. So, we are doing bi directional traffic. 9 gigs this way and 9 gigs this way. So it's total of 18 gigs. So this wire is capable of 20 gigs. We are maxing out the line at this point using all the traffic. So this is one side of the setup. That's the other side. That's so, uh, so is it exactly the same? Exactly, exactly the same. Yeah. So the traffic is running in both directions. It's a tunnel Symmet created between symmetrical both. traffic. It's a tunnel created between both of these nodes. Right. And uh, is this a very important uh, functionality for this to be useful? Yeah, so, so every phone call you make, every data, it's going through this for all 3G, 4G, 5G. And this makes it secure, the channel secure. Yeah, that's the call. It's completely running in the user space. It's completely running in user space. I mean, that is the most uh, important thing. The OFP, which Nokia provided, is a complete, ta complete stack which runs on the user space. And uh, ODP. Open source? It's all open source. Totally yes. open source. Totally Lenaro. So this is part of the the networking yeah. LNG. 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 Yeah. LNG. Yeah. And uh, how far are you with this? So Much more work to be done, or? So we have done two weeks of work on this so far. <laughs> two weeks so far. That's it. Two What's weeks. next? So next is next. Uh, yeah, next six months we want to hit like 80 gigs. Yeah, you can just see like these are like the results with only two weeks of implementation. Yeah. So there is a lot more optimizations still pending, lot, lot more integration is pending. 80 gigs, like, 100 yeah. gigs. That's so, right. 80 yeah. gigs, 100 gigs. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all going to come. And all the work you're doing here is, is compatible with the next generation chips. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a Octane yeah. TX2. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So what we are running is open class pack, open data plane. So yeah. Those are the API specifications we have implemented on our platform. And you're running yeah. the IP set So this solution will be all over the world on 5G? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. It will be used. Yes. What is it? Does it replace something proprietary? No, it doesn't. So, so every time a, a cell phone user is connecting or sending data or receiving data, you have the RNC which is sitting in the middle, that cell phone tower. So this is the backhaul from the cell phone tower talking to the central cellular stations or other cell phone towers. So that's your IP set. Can we look at the screen on the... On the do you have some code you can show? No, we don't what have any code. What this is this? This is the consoles for so the, the 5G consoles. Yeah. On the emulator. 5G emulator consoles. Uh, and this is the traffic uh, running through both. I don't know. This is one of OFP console. Oh, this is the actual traffic running on the consoles. On the, uh, this is the tunnel traffic. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you're doing some pretty good work at the LNG, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, and the things are moving fast. Very good. Yeah. yeah. A lot of more interesting things to do. Yeah. I mean, uh, so this specification is still very new. So more features need to be added. We are just scratching the surface in terms of implementation of the IPsec specification. Yeah. So more features need to be added. 
lot more to be done in the next six months. And we all we are also getting the next gen chipset for this, which has more hardware features. And uh, so yeah. all this works on the next generation chipset as well. And uh, it's not only KVM. There, there could be other chipset vendors too. Yes. But yeah. This is for ARM yeah. in general. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, but then each chipset can accelerate. Yeah. Things so this is accelerated the using the KVM technology on the KVM platform. But the same specifications of open fast path and open data plane would apply to any. Anywhere. And without what you, without the, the solution we're doing, 5G will not be possible. Yes, uh, 5G, 5G needs, needs this. 5G, 5G needs this. Yeah, this is needed. Yeah. It, it accelerates the whole thing. It, it, it's mentioned here. What what this can do, the chipset can do. It is it is a hardware scheduler which accelerates the whole uh, load balancing kind of stuff by itself. The chipset has that capability. Cool.